Encoding and encryption are not the same thing. Let's start with encoding. Digital computers actually only ever store numbers, binary numbers to be specific. Every other data type, strings, floats, objects, they don't exist primitively. They have to be encoded into a number at some point to run on the hardware. So when we want to store a number, like the number of likes that a tweet has, we just store it as a number. But when we want to store the text of a tweet, we actually need to break that text down into numbers and store the numbers. The same goes for images and video. At the end of the day, all data can be encoded down into numbers. At the hardware level of a computer, all information is stored as zeros and ones, which are just tiny electronic switches or signals that are turned off or on. Off is zero, one is on. So if I want to store a message like, I am bad, I need some system to convert this text into binary. That system is an encoding that represents a mapping of the text into a sequence of numbers. The way it works can be quite simple. Let's say that we only need to support the lowercase English letters and maybe a space character. A simple encoding scheme could be to map each letter of the alphabet to a number, 0 through 26, where 26 is the space character. So I am bad becomes 8, 26, 0, 12, 26, 1, 0, 3. There are many different ways to encode and decode text. This is just a made up example. For instance, ASCII for simple text and UTF-8 for text that needs to make more use of complex symbols are pretty standard systems. But here's the thing about encoding. It's just a two-way mapping. Anything that can be encoded can also easily be decoded. It's not like you need a secret key or password to gain access to the data. That's encryption. Encryption, and there are many different types of encryption, involves keys. It's when you take a message and then you use a secret key to create a ciphertext, which is basically just a garbled up message that can't be ungarbled without access to a secret key. Now, encryption can provide security and privacy features, but encoding? does not. Now, oftentimes, before or after you actually encrypt data, you might need to encode it or decode it just to get into a more specific format that's usable, but that still doesn't mean that the encoding itself is providing the security. This is super important to understand. I've seen many developers encode a string into its binary representation and think that they've successfully encrypted the data so that no one else can read it. That's wrong. The person that finds that data is just one Google search away from a binary decoder and access to your super secure information. So if there's no secret key, it's not encrypted, which means it's not private.